Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We have a new special guest today. This is my daughter that I waited 40 weeks and one day to arrive. Um, this is Olivia Mary Lynn Clancy. She's a week old today. Today is Monday. No, it's not. Today is Tuesday. She was born last Tuesday at 5.03 a.m. October 8th, 2019. Today's video is going to be the story of my birth of Olivia. So I had said in previous videos, if you are an avid watcher of mine, that I didn't really know what the deal was with like what I was going to film of the birth and like you can't film during delivery at the hospital that I give birth at and whatever. Um, also, it's very like special for Mike and I to um, have that moment together that wouldn't feel right putting it on the internet. I like no, no shade to like anyone that does. I love watching birth videos like I die. Um, but for us, it's like a very special moment. Honestly, I don't even know. Like I couldn't even like remember to film. Like, I don't know. Like it was literally the last thing I was thinking about. I'm going to pop in. I did do some clips. There's, there's a few clips of the progress and what was happening um, that I'm going to put in throughout the video. But I just wanted to put that out there, first of all, that um, that's just not us to do a like live birth video. So now that that's out of the way, we will get started. So um, Monday morning at 3 a.m., so October 7th, that was actually my due date. And um, I had been so miserable like the whole week before. I was just like constantly crying. I was so uncomfortable um, because I had my two older sons. This is our third and final baby. Um, I have two older boys and they were both born early. So I'm like, I'll totally have her early. Like, you know, and I had that in my head. Like I kept telling myself that. And that's my own fault. Like, I shouldn't have done that because it drove me more crazy. Like, I hit 38 weeks, nothing happened. 39 weeks, nothing. And, like, I was only two centimeters dilated. Like, nothing was happening. And I was just, like, so miss. So, anyways, that Monday morning, I was having contractions. They woke me up. Like, they were that strong. Um, they woke me up at... I was awake from 3 to 7. They were lasting like every 20 minutes. I downloaded a, con it's like called, you can just look up contraction app on the app store on my iPhone and I was timing them and in between like how long they were lasting and they were like 15 to 20 minutes apart and they were lasting 40 seconds to over a minute long. And sorry, I keep touching my hair, but it's like freshly cleaned and when it's freshly cleaned, I like don't know what to do with it because it's clean, you know. Okay, anyways, moving on. So at 7, I got up with the boys and got them ready for school. Well, Ben didn't have school. I got Michael ready for school, and I got him on the bus, and they really slowed down. But I was still getting them, like, very randomly, like, every 30 minutes, every 46 minutes. Like, and every time I would get them, they were so strong. Like, it was a legit contraction. I would have to stop and catch my breath and be like okay, like, this is a contraction. It wasn't like a little Braxton Hicks, like it was painful. So um, we went throughout the day. Um, it got to be like early afternoon and I told Mike, I was like, this is happening. Like something's happening and these contractions like are so painful. So we ended up calling the doctor and I like wasn't going to, but Mike said too and it just like I felt like I should call because I knew something was up so uh, my doctor actually wanted me to come in and uh, because it was my third baby because I know what a contraction really feels like um, they wanted to check me out and see what was going on so we got to our hospital it's like 35 40 minutes away from us Today is my due date October 7th we're going to the hospital I was having contractions last night and they died down, but they've been like irregular. So we'll see. We're all packed. We're leaving right now to go. So I will keep you updated. Fingers crossed. 40 weeks today, October 7th. Get this baby out. My, my oversized t-shirt doesn't even go over. So, all right, see you in a bit. So we got there um, 
at like 2 I think 1 32 I'm not sure exactly and we saw the midwife and I was two centimeters dilated the week before I was still only two centimeters dilated and I was like you have got to be kidding me like I'm having <clears throat> excuse me I'm having these like strong contractions like what's happening so it's not looking like anything ow I haven't dilated anymore so they're gonna check me in an hour I think but nothing so far so we're just chilling they were like, okay, so we're going to have you walk around the maternity ward for a while, um, you know, get your body moving, see if the contractions pick up at all, and then they'll check my dilation again at 4.30. So we did that. The contractions, like, really slowed down again, and she checked me up. The midwife checked me at 4.30. I was still, I hadn't progressed at all. Still two centimeters, like nothing was happening. So at this point, they were discharging me and they were like, go home, like the best place for you to be is home, go relax, put your kids to bed, you know. And um, so we left and Mike had a couple errands to do in the town where the hospital is and we got a quick something to eat. We went down to the beach and um, had a steak and cheese and... It actually worked out perfect that he had some errands to do that he like needed to get done because if we had driven all the way back home we would have been right back you just wait so while we're in the car the contractions are getting like so much worse um, I start timing them again they're like um, every like 12 to like 17 minutes apart they're lasting a long time they're super painful um, and by the time that we were done with our errands and we started heading back towards our house, I just told Mike, I just broke down and started sobbing. And I was like, something is not right. Like, I know that something is not right and something is happening and I can't go home and just like spend the night, like lay in bed and go to sleep. Like this is, these contractions were like so painful. And um, I knew, like I knew that my labor was starting so I called back again and and all another reason why I was like so upset was because I felt crazy in a way like I knew that something was happening but like they just discharged me like they told me to go home and I feel like they probably deal with like all these crazy pregnant ladies that are like no like this is happening my water is breaking and it's like not you know what I mean because you're like so neurotic when you're pregnant but I was like, I swear something's happening. Um, and they had me, we went right back and we got there around 7.30, 7.45, right when the um, doctors were changing, the midwife was leaving and then another doctor was coming in and the doctor checks me and I was still two centimeters, still. Maybe a little more effaced, but I was still two centimeters. Like, nothing had happened. And I was like, this chick has got to be kidding me. Like, I am in so much pain. And I had been up, like, the night before. I was exhausted. And I was like, how is nothing happening? Like, this is so crazy. So, um, we walked around the maternity ward again for a while. And the contractions really started to pick up. Um... And I was feeling good. I was like, yes, like this is working. I mean, I wasn't feeling good. I was in pain, but like I was, I, I felt that it was working. Um, so she checks me again at 11 and I was still two centimeters, maybe two and a half. She said, she's like, maybe she's around two and a half. Like I had progressed a tiny bit and I was like, yo like what is happening and she said that she did not want to induce me it was 11 p.m she said that i would be even more exhausted um who knows how long that would take um she doesn't like inducing people that late at night if it's not like completely necessary um so i ended up opting to take some pain medicine 
to calm the pain, to help the pain of the contractions, and to help me go to sleep. But let me tell you, it did nothing. It might have helped like the tiniest bit, but like my contractions picked up and um, I, I heart, I don't know if I, I can't even remember it's so like fuzzy, but like I kind of like maybe closed my eyes for a little bit, but the contractions started to pick up. So we'll fast forward to 2.30 a.m. the October 8th, the morning that she was born my contractions had really picked up and they were like five to six minutes apart and they were so painful, like so painful. And I wake Mike up and I went to get more water in my water jug and I'm like healing over in pain. Like I start crying and I go out to like the desk and I'm like, where's my nurse? Like I need to be checked. Like these contract, you can see them on the thing. It was like back to back to back to back so painful and um so mind you this is less than three hours after my doctor had just checked me and I had like maybe been two and a half centimeters so I got the water and the doctor came right in and I was in the middle of a contraction and I just like belted out and I was like I can't do this like I can't I was sobbing and I was like I can't do this like the pain like if she comes and checks me and she's like oh you're three like I would have I don't I would have I don't know I would have I don't know sorry the drama I can just like still feel the pain was so horrific so um she find so I get on the bed and she checks me and she goes oh okay she goes, we're in active labor, you're seven centimeters. I went from two centimeters to seven centimeters in less than, wait, less than four hours? Less than three, 11, 12, one, two, in less than four hours. My body was just like, wha bam. And my nurse, the original nurse that I saw earlier in the day, she was like, yeah, you can see on your chart that once you're like from my other two boys, that once my labor starts, like it goes, like it just like you're in labor and that we're just like having a baby. So we were seven centimeters and I was like, thank God all of this pain was for something. Like I'm not crazy. Oh my God. So I got the epidural. Um, I have a clip of me after I got the epidural. I went from two centimeters to seven centimeters in how many hours, babe? Like three and a half. Oh, it is currently three, what time is it? 3.45, October 8th. I just got my epidural, feeling like a million bucks. So now we wait. So, um, I felt amazing because I had no pain. And quickly after that, um, I could feel a lot of pressure. I knew her head was like right there. And the doctor came right in. I was ready to push. I pushed for 45 minutes. Um, it's the longest I'd ever pushed with any. This chick was just like not coming out. Like she was such a hard time, my little baby. Um, so, I was pushing really weird like I didn't know where I was pushing um, because I I could not feel a thing and that's I feel like they so they turned the epidural off on um, like stopped like pumping it into my back so I could start feeling and that's when that's when she really started moving down I got her head down um, and the last couple of pushes her head was like right there like right there like half of her head was out I should say and it just like stayed there because my contraction ended and that's just like where it was. And I don't know why I could see this. Like, I don't know, like, I don't, was, was I sitting up? Like, I don't know. I could see it and I go, I can feel this. Like, what is happening? I, I cursed a little bit because I was like, what the F? Like, I can feel this. I can feel this. And then the next push she came out and it's just unbelievable how all of the pain goes away once your baby is out. Like, you can't feel, it's just unbelievable. Like, so, it just makes no sense. Lift your head up. 
<gasps> Look at you. <laughs> the face. Hi, baby. Hi. Well, just relax. Where are you going? So she came out and she took a second to cry. Mike was like making this face. He was like, is she okay? Um, she took a second to cry, but they just rubbed her back and she was fine. Um, and when we were in the hospital, she was spitting up a lot of my milk. Like she was just spitting up a lot. And um, it was because they she just had some amniotic fluid in there. And um, because she just came, like everything just happened so fast, she kind of just flew right out, kind of, but like basically. Um, she's been an absolute dream. I'm gonna do an updated video about her, so I'll leave that for that. But that is my birth story, and that is how she got here. Um, I can't believe she's a week old. She's an angel, she's amazing, we're so in love with her. Um, I'm so mad because I meant to record when the boys came in to meet her the night she was born. And I don't know, the iPhone's so annoying. Like I clicked record, but it like didn't. And then when I put it down, it like recorded it, but my phone was on the bed, so it's black and you can just like hear our voices. I'm just like upset. So whatever, so we have our newborn photos tomorrow morning. Um, the boys are gonna come, we're gonna get some photos with them in him in the beginning and then I'm gonna stay with her and do her little photo shoot so that will be exciting. Excuse you. All right, well I'm going to go. Um, that is it for me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram if you want some updated pictures of this little cookie, this little precious cook. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Thank you for hanging in there with me while um, just this new bundle of joy is in my life. And that is all. Love you. Bye.